What's up everyone, I'm Dan and as we approach spooky season, I've got one for the horror fans. Thanks to Dread XP and Evolve PR for the review code, this is the Mortuary Assistant. Now this is an older title, but the Mortuary Assistant offers a unique blend of horror and simulation that delves deep into the unsettling world of mortuary science, combined with a supernatural twist. Developed by Darkstone Digital, the game immerses players in a chilling narrative where they take on the role of Rebecca Owens, a recent mortuary science graduate who quickly discovers that her job involves more than just embalming bodies. I have to say, even the idea of embalming bodies just feels eerie in itself. The game sets a grim and spooky tone from the outset. You play as Rebecca Owens, a young apprentice at Riverfields Mortuary. After spending several months learning the ropes of embalming and caring for the deceased, Rebecca is called into work late one night to handle some embalmings. However, she soon discovers that this night is unlike any other. The phone rings with the mortician on the other end, revealing that she is trapped in the mortuary and a demonic presence is haunting the premises. As Rebecca, you must navigate this terrifying environment, performing your embalming duties while also contending with malevolent forces that threaten your very soul. The game's setting is one of its strongest aspects. The mortuary is dimly lit with flickering lights and shadowy corners that keep you on edge throughout. The developers have done a fantastic job of creating a, a claustrophobic atmosphere where every room feels like a potential threat. The suspense is further amplified by the sound design which plays tricks on your mind, creaking floors, distant whispers and sudden noises that make you jump even if you're not sure what caused them. The game combines routine mortuary tasks with occult rituals, providing a unique gameplay experience that's both methodical and terrifying. The main objective is to perform embalming tasks on several bodies while identifying and banishing a demon that has taken a special interest in Rebecca. This involves a mix of traditional embalming procedures such as making incisions, draining blood and suturing wounds, and supernatural elements like deciphering demonic markings and conducting rituals. The controls on the Switch, however, I've found to be one of the game's weaker points. Navigating menus and using items can feel cumbersome, which detracts from the immersion and fluidity of the gameplay. The unresponsiveness of the controls can lead to moments of frustration, especially during high tension scenes where quick reflexes are essential. Moving from room to room and interacting with objects should feel seamless, but instead it often feels like a chore due to the clunky control scheme. There's also no touchscreen implementation, which I feel is another missed opportunity, especially when performing checks on the bodies and embalming them. Another significant challenge is the cumbersome nature of navigating the game's menus and inventory system. Selecting and using items can be a bit of a hassle, which pulls you out of the immersive experience. In a game that relies heavily on tension and atmosphere, these technical hiccups can be quite frustrating. Where the Mortuary Assistant truly excels, I'm happy to say, is in its horror elements. The game keeps players constantly on edge by making them question what they see. Sometimes you catch a glimpse of something moving in the corner of your eye, only to turn and find there's nothing there. These moments are unsettling and highly effective in creating a sense of paranoia. The unpredictability of these occurrences, along with the game's use of jump scares, airy sound design and psychological horror, means that you never feel completely safe. A standout feature of the game is its system that ensures every playthrough is unique. The scares are procedurally generated, meaning that each time you play, the events unfold differently. This unpredictability keeps the tension high and ensures that players will find themselves second guessing what might happen next. This offers plenty of reasons to replay the game and explore different outcomes. The Mortuary Assistant performs adequately in handheld mode, though it's clear that the graphical fidelity has been toned down from other platforms. Character models in particular lack detail and look somewhat outdated, which might detract from the overall immersion. Despite this, the game makes effective use of light and shadow to create a foreboding atmosphere that compensates for the less than stellar character models. The voice acting on the other hand is well done. The actress portraying Rebecca effectively conveys fear and tension, drawing players into her experience. Her reactions feel genuine, making the supernatural elements of the game feel all the more real. The sound design, especially when experienced with headphones, is another high point. It adds layers to the horror, making every creak and whisper feel like a threat. The Mortuary Assistant is an older title, but it's a compelling horror game that successfully combines the mundane with the macabre. The spooky setting, combined with an intriguing narrative and innovative scare mechanics, makes for a genuinely unsettling experience. 
While the game's controls and character models leave something to be desired, the atmosphere, sound design and unique replayability more than make up for these shortcomings if you're a fan looking for an airy experience. The Mortuary Assistant offers a chilling experience that's worth the time, especially if you play in handheld mode with the headphones on. Just be prepared to feel a persistent sense of dread as the game ensures that you never truly feel alone. The Mortuary Assistant is out now on the Nintendo eShop priced at $19.49 in the UK and $24.99 in the US. Have you played this one before and if so, what did you think about it? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, hit the like button if you like the review, thanks for watching and until next time.